I'm Sophie from Waffle TV, and today I'm joined by the very talented a cappella group, The Magnus. Hello! Hello! How are you guys doing today? Very good today. We're a little bit sad because we've only got three performances left as things stand. Yep. And we've got tonight, Tuesday and Wednesday, so we're now wondering maybe we should stay up for the rest of the month <laughs> and make the most of it. And how have the shows gone so far? Oh, it's been great. We're in the uh, we're in the Assembly Hall this year, yep. which is just about the biggest venue on the fringe. Yeah, uh, which is very exciting. We've got big lights, big sound. Couldn't be happier, really. Great. And um, can you kind of describe like, to our viewers, like, kind of your journey, how you got here like from the very beginning? Oh, we haven't got that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been at the festival. This is actually our eighth festival. Eight, yeah. um, we've done, we did one year of busking, and then we have done seven years in proper venues. Yeah. So kind of worked our way up from singing on the street to nobody to then a 90-seat yeah. venue working our way up to now in, in the big the big hall, the big assembly hall. But it's, yeah. yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I mean, you guys, like, obviously, what's there about Edinburgh that kind of brings you back yeah. every year? Edinburgh, well, it's the biggest arts festival in the world, yeah. so it's the best place to be seen by lots of different promoters from all over the world. Yeah. And for us, we generate our new show every year for Edinburgh, uh -huh. so it's a good reason, it's a good uh, way for us to generate new material. Yeah. It forces us to do new material, because we're, we're away so much around the rest of the world on tour, and it's difficult to be creative when you're just in a different venue every night, a different country even. Uh, so we tend to take July off to really focus on getting a new show together for Edinburgh and then we run it out in Edinburgh and, and hone it and get it hopefully perfect and then we go off around the world with that show again. So Edinburgh's a real focus to, to make you know, new songs, new choreography, a new show basically. And why like the type of songs are your favourite to perform? I'd say we all have different likes and dislikes. I like, I quite like rocking out, I like the sort of high, sort of screamy stuff. We, we open the show with Kashmir by Led Zeppelin and I get a nice sort of high top C right at the beginning of the show. And I know if that top C goes well, the rest of the show is going to be all right. <laughs> Alternatively, if it doesn't go very well, then we know we're in for a rocky evening. <laughs> yeah. What about anyone else? Uh, well, this year we're doing, um, we're doing uh, the themes Homegrown. And uh, so it's, it's songs by British, uh, British composers. And it's been really nice just exploring the, um, uh, you know, the, the music that we grew up listening to, but also yeah. written by our compatriots. Somehow you, uh, somehow you, I mean, you, you feel a little bit more strongly about the, the, the music yeah. that's from from the place where you're from, as yeah. well. Cool. I mean, have you guys like obviously you're an a cappella band? Have you ever had any like rock star moments? Like when you say it's the most rock star I, thing you've my done? My favourite <laughs> moment this time last year. Um, Anita Dobson was up doing a show. Oh. She's an actress, obviously. Yep. Um, and married to Brian May, and she came to see our show and she said, oh, I love your show, Brian's coming up next week, I'll, I'll see if I can get him along, we thought he won't want to come. But he did, and he came and he sat in the audience, and coincidentally, I'd, I'd arranged a song that he wrote when he was in Queen, called Dreamer's Ball, so to sing my arrangement to Brian May, and, he was, and afterwards he was like, oh yeah, it's nice, I haven't heard anyone do that before, yeah, nice, nice job, was, that was my, that was, yeah, that was crowning, crowning glory moment. And what about anyone else, like career highlights so far? Career highlights. Getting lost. You know, that's the spinal tap moments getting lost on the way to the stage. That's, yeah. that's probably that's probably about the most rock and roll as it gets. <laughs> oh, free. I know. Free. I say. <laughs> and what kind of particular band do you say inspire you when you're doing your music? Well, Nick actually grew up in the States. It's Nick's band. Um, well, you were sort of inspired by the a cappella out there, really. Yeah, um, growing up in America, there's a big tradition of a cappella groups, so there were a couple of big groups in America that I really admired, sort of from the, well, this, from the 60s to the 80s. But these days, I mean, our influences, because our show's got lots of, lots of different bands from lots of different genres, yeah. uh, our influences come from all over. So we're doing, as uh, Steve said, we're doing Led Zeppelin, we're doing Tears for Fears, we're doing uh, Emily Sande, so, so lots of, lots of different influences. Yeah, great. Um, and in terms of... Do you prefer, I know you sing a lot of covers, um, but I mean, I know you sing a couple of originals as well. Yeah. Which one do you kind of prefer? Well, a few years ago we used to do a lot more original stuff, yeah. um, and then the guys who write music in the band, there's sort of three of us who write music, and it's so different that yeah. it, was, it was hard to sort of find a, a sort of common angle, whereas when you're doing covers it's a bit easier to sort of keep everything together. So yeah. recently we've been doing a lot more covers. But now we're thinking it'd be nice to get back into originals. So uh, yeah, I think a mix is, is good. Because even when we do covers, we totally reinvent them. So it actually feels like you're writing stuff anyway, because we really turn uh, other people's songs on their heads. Um, so uh, yeah, to get a combination of our own stuff and interesting cover versions would be the perfect compromise. Yeah. And um, I know that obviously you make all the music with your own mouth, so it's no interest or anything. How do you kind of like rehearse and prepare for that? Yeah, well, we just, we, we tend to, one of us, 
I, I do a lot of the arranging, so yeah. I'll, I'll do an arrangement uh, on my own and then send it out to the boys and just say, learn this, and then we'll get together yeah. and read the music and just learn it and then work out what works and what doesn't work and what needs changing and that kind of thing. Yeah, um, so we, we don't sort of sit around and busk stuff. Yeah. It's all kind of done quite... I've had a peanut. How long is that like process for thinking? Ages. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, to, to develop an Edinburgh show, you're, yeah. you're starting to think about it, you know, January, February time. You, yeah. you get into negotiations all about where, where the venue's going to be and then March, April time, you're thinking about what the show, what type of show you're going to do. Uh -huh. And then May, June, you know, several months, you're doing the arrangements. And uh, So you're thinking about the whole show a lot a long time before you actually enter rehearsals in yeah. sort of June, July um, period. So it's a pretty intense thing. You're, you're effectively, you know, you're only away from Edinburgh for four or five months of the year before you're suddenly thinking about it all brilliant, over again. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Um, so, if there's a little song you can Yeah, well, we across? thought we might do a bit of uh, Emily Sandler for you, given oh, yeah, that she's, uh, she's Scottish. Yeah. And she, she was featured pretty heavily in the Olympics yeah, opening and closing ceremony. Yeah, all over the place. <laughs> um, so we're going to do just a, a wee snippet of uh, her song. A record company will be doing an excellent job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for that in the middle. Yeah. We're going to feature Andy at the beginning. Andy's our drummer. Yeah, that's what we've done. Yeah, let's do that. This is pretty directional, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Any movement going on here? Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Rolling dice will stand up to three. You'll never find a bit of faithful. You will find it, you'll find it next to me. You'll find it trying to chase the devil. Money, power, fortune, and greed. You'll never find a way to you will find it, you'll find it next to me, 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 next to me,